book right now. So I'm reading from the 08 Agency blog, Beginner's Guide to B2B Healthcare Marketing. What is B2B Healthcare Marketing? B2B Healthcare Marketing, or Business to Business Healthcare Marketing, is a process of healthcare organizations and or healthcare providers collaborating to increase business with consumers and patients alike and provide them with the very best services possible. Healthcare providers must market themselves to other healthcare providers in order to build these business relationships and complete any necessary task regarding revenue, communication, and accessibility. <clears throat> Since the rise of the global COVID-19 pandemic, dependence on healthcare and healthcare marketing has become abundantly more widespread. It is crucial to healthcare organizations to continue to innovate more effective ways to support the well-being of Earth's human population. If organizations can spread their positive influence faster, than the spread of the next mutated variant, then humankind is well on its way to protecting itself from the next global health crisis. If you're part of a healthcare organization and are just learning the ups and downs of B2B healthcare marketing, 08 has you covered with the best and latest advice. Why is B2B healthcare marketing important? There are various ways that healthcare organizations, consumers, and patients can benefit from B2B healthcare marketing. The B2B model is very hospital-oriented. It provides an appropriate medical equipment and medical devices such as surgical tools, MRI machines, and scrubs that medical personnel use on a day-to-day -day basis. It also provides the necessities and accommodations such as hospital beds that patients depend on for the care they need. B2B also advertises the latest technological advances that can improve treatment and make it more obtainable. One recent example of this COVID-19 vaccine. Of this is the COVID-19 vaccine. Scientists worked around the clock in the early stages of the pandemic to produce and distribute the vaccine to hospitals and clinics. Once vaccinating people against COVID-19 became possible, three brands, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson, had the market to themselves to consumers so they could administer as many vaccines as possible. Another relevant example of this is telehealth a service that allows virtual health care. This has become an increasingly popular during the pandemic as quarantine prevents people from seeking doctors in person. Telehealth can be used for standard doctor appointments like checkups or for the supervised use of at-home COVID-19 testing kits. Counseling services like Ginger and Better offer telehealth as well. Ginger and BetterHelp offer telehealth as well. With the staggering rise of pandemic-related mental health problems, it's become an extra important for counseling services and market themselves effectively so that people can choose one which is right for them and get the support that they need. What are the most common challenges found in B2B healthcare marketing? It's no secret that marketing in general is not always a walk in the park, so why wouldn't healthcare marketing have its own set of challenges? While B2B marketing overall works rather well for networking, monetary success, and the range of services for patients to take advantage of, there are always obstacles to be aware of. Here are three extremely common challenges. Speed. Regardless of a company's overall strength and competence, it is not immune to the lagging speed at which the healthcare industry moves. Most sales and cycles take over a year or longer. Organizing each B2B sale takes this long because every piece of equipment needs to be thoroughly reviewed and researched before being marketed and delivered. While the sales process is time consuming, the protocol is still important to follow. This is because patients rely on these treatments during life or death situations. Funding. Another challenge is that hospitals sometimes lack proper government funding. To avoid this, Healthcare organizations need to market their services especially strategically and responsibly to their patients so they can keep their promises while remaining economically sound. HIPAA regulations. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, protects personal information and marketers must abide by its policies. Marketers need patient authorization before they market a product to them. Marketers can't use protected health information and promote their business or products without express consent from the patient. HIPAA is complex, and there are many things that could go overlooked. 
It's crucial that marketers review and check that everything they do to promote their business is in line with HIPAA to avoid legal trouble and bad reviews. Marketing strategy. Marketing is all about opening doors and an approach can make or break a business's success. There are countless B2B marketing strategies in existence and it is important that businesses find which ones work for them. The most useful marketing strategies depend on a variety of factors that every marketing team must keep in mind. These factors are known as the four P's, product, placement, price, and promotion. Product, doctor-patient relations. Healthcare is expensive and buyers need to be satisfied with the products they pay for before they return to a B2B healthcare company. To attract an idea quantity of consumers, Businesses need to know their target audience and market quality products to them. When meeting new clients, first impressions matter. To maintain or improve its reputation with consumers, the healthcare company must hire reliable doctors with good reviews who conduct themselves in a pleasant way. Treatments and supplies. The treatments themselves are also products. So it is important for healthcare professionals to listen to patients' need and feedback and make good judgments based on the information given. The experience should be tailored to an individual's needs, medication, mobility devices, testing kits, etc., so they feel well cared for and will return for additional care. Placement. Location. Hospital and clinic location should be convenient for as many people as possible. The address should be easy to find and travel to, and directions should be listed on the company website. Hours. A location's hours should be flexible, so patients can take advantage of health care at most times. Throughout the day, walk-in, virtual, and same-day appointments should be available. Registering for later appointments should be easy as well. Communication. Patients should be able to communicate with healthcare providers and healthcare professionals in a variety of ways. Doctor and patient messaging can be over email, phone calls, WhatsApp, Zoom, and these communication methods should be operational 24-7. Price. The first step in a buyer's journey is gauging the price of a service. Can they afford it? Is it worth their money? In particular, People living in the United States often worry about price due to how expensive healthcare generally is. To attract the most consumers, marketing efforts should go towards increasing the affordability of quality products and accepting more insurance plans so consumers can see a certain healthcare brand as a possible option. This is challenging to do because the business still needs to make desirable profits. There are hurdles that need to be cleared such as high government control and some patients' needs calling for numerous, prolonged, and complicated or intense treatments. Fortunately, there is a key opportunity that healthcare companies can take to attract consumers and turn profits while giving quality care, lower or non-existent, costs for simpler tests such as blood pressure checks and STD, STI tests. If a test is easy to do, there is no reason to make it expensive. While it's more difficult and expensive, tests might be done eventually, depending on the patient's condition. Lower costs for simple tests could increase the likelihood of patients returning. Promotion. A healthcare business needs to make itself known to surrounding community and by extension its target audience. To achieve higher levels of outreach and stay up to date, companies can utilize a variety of effective marketing tools such as search engine optimization, SEO, PR, and social media. That's all I'll be recording for today. It's been about a nine minute break. <laughs> Am I close to the end? Oh, I'm uh, I'm not close to the end. I'm gonna go ahead and finish reading this just not out loud so that I don't strain my voice. Thank you. My name is Larry Rosales and I'll be uh, placing this on YouTube and I'm on the job market search. Um, I'm a painter. bit of a comedian, a uh, live personality and host, a uh, photographer. I've been a dancer many times, and I've also been an actor many times. So thanks for checking out this small reel with 08, what is B2B marketing? Business to business, it's enough.